Hi guys, Patch Drury, board certified hypnotherapist and dream analyst. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how I learned the name of my daimon and how you can too. Uh, it, it all kind of started um, during the, the height of the pandemic. It was 2020 and everybody was <laughs> finding themselves at home with a lot of time on their hands. And that kind of sent me into a deeper study of the concept of the daimon and um, that feels serendipitous in uh, or synchronistic in in retrospect because because of the pandemic there was this uh, great resignation is what they're calling it where a lot of people were like ah man I, I don't want to work this job I want to do something else and so there's a lot of people who uh, would benefit from learning about their daimon and coming into contact with their daimon because that daimon represents their purpose in life. And I think a lot of us can say that the nine to five jobs we were working pre-pandemic don't represent our purpose or our uh, even potential. And so uh, it's it feels uh, significant to me that uh, this concept of the daimon really started opening up to me at this time because I think the world needs this concept now more than ever. And so basically, I was, uh, I was going through a process of uh, what I've referred to and what uh, Israel Regardi refers to as invoking and flaming, which is just prayer. Um, so prayer and meditation. So I would, I would get really still. I would actually sit a sauna and sometimes I'd put a candle on my head, uh, to ensure that I wouldn't move a lit candle and put it up there, uh, like a seven day candle. So it's not going to get hot on the bottom. Um, and I would sit there and it's like, if I sit still, the candle won't fall. And so I do that and I get really still and I just would invoke and inflame. And that's basically me just saying, uh, to my daimon. I, I want to see you. I want to know you. I want to come into contact with you in a real way that feels significant and, and just kind of go through that stuff in my head. And uh, I realized I was calling it my daimon uh, and that didn't feel, um, it didn't feel the best. So uh, I used a pendulum and um, I asked my daimon to speak through my subconscious through ideal motor movements is how a pendulum works. And I said, um, do you have a name? And, and first we have to calibrate the, the pendulum to figure out what means yes and what means no. So I did that and then I asked the pendulum, asked my daimon through the pendulum, do you have a name? And it said yes. And I said, um, can I... Before I ask it if it had a name, I said, can I give you a name? I wanted to just kind of like make up a name to give it. And it said no. And I said, okay, well, do you have a name? And it said yes. And I said, can I call you my daimon, my subconscious? Um, and it said no. And I was like, well, I don't know what to call you then. Um, and so um, I put the pendulum away. And because I'm a hypnotherapist, I thought, you know, well, let's, uh, if, if the daimon is is my subconscious or speaks through my subconscious or is connected to my subconscious, let's, uh, let's just, uh, let's take a swing at it that way. So I created a hypnosis, um, to bring, to bring me into contact with my daimon. And when I, when I described that, I realized that that kind of implies, um, the daimon is not necessarily your subconscious, or maybe it is, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what it implies, but um, basically um, I, I did this hypnosis that said, uh, let me come into contact with my daimon, let me meet it and stuff. And so, so I did this hypnosis one night, this was after a night of uh, prayer or invo invoking and flaming. Then I did this hypnosis and then I went to bed. And as I was going to bed, I heard a word in my head, like not audibly, I didn't hear it in my ears. It was like a thought that just kind of like self-generated, like bunk. And it was the word yetze. And I thought, huh, where did that word come from? I, I don't know that word. Uh, it sounds Hebrew, but I, I didn't know any Hebrew. I, I took uh, Greek in college, but I was terrible at it. Um, and I wish now I'd taken Hebrew, uh, but, um, so I, I was like, oh, I don't know what that is. And I, I, as I laid down in bed, I looked it up. And um, 
there were um, there were a couple of websites that gave some kind of biblical meanings to it and associations, but none of them felt good. Um, but the next morning when I woke up, I used the pendulum and I said, uh, is your, asking my name on, is your name yet? And it said yes. Um, and so I was like, okay, well now I have a name to refer to it as. And so I, as I started um, doing dream work with it, and as I started asking it questions and doing divination stuff, I had a name and I'd always be like, yetze, yetze, yetze. And, and um, <laughs> it was like a couple of months ago, my wife sent me an Alan Watts video that she really liked. And in it, Alan Watts said yetze. And he said that it was the Hebrew word for spirit. And I was like, whoa, um, that was like, that kind of blew my mind because um, the subconscious, the the daemon, all the stuff uh, can be thought of as your soul, your spirit. Um, and so I was like, wow, that's really um, incredible that it's, it, this was, this was my daemon kind of saying, yes, I'm here. Yes, I have a name. You can think of me as your spirit. Um, and so I have I have asked it, and it's specifically the next day after I, I had this name and I was so excited about it, I asked it for guidance at the, at the time I needed uh, some money in the family. So I said, uh, lead me towards um, some opportunity. Um, and uh, it... <laughs> I, I specifically felt pulled that day not to sit down on my desk and do the work I was supposed to be doing, but to go out and drive. And so I went out and drive. And while I was out, you know, I had this inspiration, like, oh, you should call this person. And so I called that person and I was like, hey, would you be interested uh, in me teaching some classes at your place and doing this thing? And they were like, yes, absolutely. Let's do that. And so it ended up being this very beneficial relationship that came about when I asked Yetze by name to guide me uh, through my intuition. Um, and, and so now any kind of stuff I do, um, I have a name that I can refer to and use. And um, I, 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 I don't want to hoard this technology. It's not like I invented hypnosis, so I can't hoard that technology. But uh, the hypnosis that I used to make contact with Yetze um, I want you to be able to have access to it. So I have uploaded it to my Patreon. And so to get it, all you have to do is join my Patreon. And you can join it at any of the three levels uh, and you'll get access to this. And um, they're like $5 a month, $10 a month, or $25 a month. And each one gets its own. Um, there are benefits connected to each one, but I'm going to set it up so that every one of them or I have set it up that every one of them gets access to this hypnosis. And so um, if you are, and, and I see a lot of you uh, commenting and, and subscribing and stuff, you're, if you're interested, interested in this conversation, uh, if you're interested in coming into contact with your own daimon, this was the thing that did it for me. Um, this is the thing that gave me a name. And then uh, <laughs> a couple of years later, told me in no uncertain terms, here's what this name means and here's what it means to what you're doing. So uh, I, I recommend the process. I recommend getting on a first name basis with your daimon. It has been um, meaningful and beneficial to this work um, and to my life. Uh, and um, so, in, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, check out, go to the Patreon, the link is down below, or you know what, I'll do that thing where it's floating up above me, if I can figure that out. If not, it'll be in the description, but um, assuming I'm not too old and too stupid to figure it out, it'll be up here somewhere and down there. So, okay, uh, check it out, download the hypnosis. If you do that, uh, stay in contact with me and let me know how the process is for you, okay? Thank you guys, see you soon.